people are getting more dry. Read. Thus saith the Lord God, unto these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter into you. Now by his prophesying, now breath is entering into our people. They're starting to realize who they are, what their purpose is. Read. And ye shall live. And they shall live. Read. And I will lay sinews upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you. And ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Where? So I prophesied as I was commanded. And we're prophesying as we were commanded. Read. And as I prophesied, there was a noise, and, a, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them above. But there was no breath in them. But there was no breath in them. So what happened next? Read. Then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. And now we're saying we're breathing upon those slain, that they may live. When I look up in North Philly, West Philly, Mount Airy, what's going on, man? Dead men, dead women. We're caught up, man, even all over the earth. We are caught up, totally dead. No purpose. No purpose. What we do in a day, man? What we do? We work to try to get out of debt and look at TV. <laughs> Where's the kings? Where's the queens? How many people for real really read the Bible, man? Tell the truth. At least take a half hour out of your day and read the Bible. Look at it, putting a finger up to me. Look at it. They don't respect the Bible. Black fingernail polish with a finger up. Let me tell you, she got a bigger problem than us reading right now. When she look up and see this brother coming out of the sky, let's see her stick her finger up there. Read. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood upon their feet, an exceedingly great army. That's what they are afraid of. They are afraid of the spirit coming into you. And you stand up as a great army of God. They fear that. Don't think that if they wanted to, they could stop everything from coming over here. Right. Drugs and all that. Right. Let me tell you, you can go on the internet right now with the earth and track anything in the earth from space. You mean to tell me they can't stop heroin from coming over here? They can't stop crack from, and drugs and cocaine from coming over the border. They need it coming over the border That's right. to keep you twisted, That's right. to keep you under, keep you from understanding your true purpose. That's right. They want it over here, man. Right. They showed that in that movie that Denzel was just in, American Gangster. It was the military allowing the drugs to come into the neighborhood to break you so that you cannot stand up at that spiritual army that the Lord is preparing. They understand that. Read up part again. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood upon their feet, an exceedingly great army. And there is a great army that's being prepared spiritually. Read. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Who are they? The whole house of Israel. Who are they? The whole house of Israel. The whole house of Israel. See, and the elitists know this. That's why they're telling fashion towards the children of Israel because they know that God's people would buy it because they are the body of the dry bones. They are the people that have no identity. They don't know who they are, what they purpose. They don't even understand what's going to happen to them in a few more years. There's a plan to destroy all of you. There's a plan. There's been a plan. And you know why you don't know? Because the modern day churches that we see are set up to keep you asleep. And you're not going to realize what, what the plan is until they end your church, rally you up, and put you in concentration camps.
That's when you're going to understand. Then you're going to say, you know what? Then you're going to start talking. Then you're going to say, you know what? What those fellas were saying on the corner was true. The military is not your military no more. All the brothers, all the brothers that have learned how to fight are now been, they've been deployed to high volume war areas all over the planet. Who's your military? Blackwater. A mercenary group is a new military of the earth. Don't think those cameras is in your neighborhood because of crime. They wanted the crime to happen in the neighborhoods to put the cameras, to put the cameras in there, to watch you. They did that purposely. They did that purposely. Just like the military, when they go into these different countries, what they do? They arm one side. And then they cause wars on both sides and they come in to regulate. The same thing they do in the ghettos. They pull up a car into the ghetto and they be selling guns out, out of the back of their trucks for pennies on the dollar. To fund the war in the neighborhood to say that we have a crime problem. We have a gun problem. But we don't make guns. We don't make guns. We do not make them. So what is the plan? It stems, I'm, I'm going to bring it up to date. It stems from 911. I'm glad you're here.